Redford. We're in Redford Township. Uh, outside the post office on April 15th on tax day, uh, 2008, uh, showing support for the recall of House Speaker Andy Dillon in opposition to the Lansing tax increases that were due today, the 12% income tax increase and the 22% business tax increase. So we're here to let uh, Andy Dillon know, the Speaker, that there are repercussions for taking $1.5 billion away from the citizens and redistributing it to Lansing politicians, essentially. So we're here to protest. Uh, the tax increase, protest Andy Dillon to show support for the citizens attempting to recall him here in Wayne County. Rescue Michigan! Recall Dillon! Rescue Michigan! Recall Dillon! Rescue Michigan! Recall Dillon! Rescue Michigan! Recall Dillon! Andy Dillon's got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Andy Dillon's got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Andy Dillon's got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Andy Dillon's got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! start watching our dollars better than they are. Um, I'm recalling Dylan because he voted for a 1.4 billion dollar tax increase, an uh, annual tax increase of 1.4 billion dollars. He raised the income tax 12 percent, he raised the uh, uh, business tax 22 percent, and then uh, they raised their own legislative budget 7 percent and the general fund budget 8 percent. Now you and I did not get an increase in our our, our general fund budget, our household budgets, uh, most of us have taken a, a reduction. So um, we're out here to, to just tell them they can't keep doing this to us anymore. We can't afford it. It's got to go. Hey, hey. in a police force, the equivalent of getting ready for an Al-Qaeda rally. They seem to treat uh, citizens and taxpayers as if they're an enemy. And they've brought in an extreme police force uh, to essentially, I guess, block parking, restrict access to the protest, try to make it as difficult for citizens as possible to protest. Um, it's well beyond anything resembling public safety needs. So we are uh, coping the best we can. And uh, we are, you know, it is probably the complete, unbelievably unnecessary cost of this police presence and the over the top ridiculousness of what they're doing is, is apparent when you look around. It, you know, it looks like we're in Beirut. You know, it doesn't look like we're in Redford. Police overtime ain't cheap. You're, you're paid yeah, yeah, for whether you know it or not. Police overtime isn't cheap. <laughs> you know, we bill trips. on that stuff. All the cities do. I'd rather pay yeah, his overtime than Dylan's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. I don't care. Yes. Where's yes. my attorney? Yes. Hey, hey, where's your attorney? I got a whole bunch of them. I got two attorneys. Whether you pay it or not, next Friday, you know what happens? Oh, yeah. I get paid. Uh, hey, man, brother. And this is all time and a half for me. Support us. Um, become active yourself. Because that's important too, that they, you know, that they are active in their own communities. It's not a job that one person or one group can do. It's a job that everybody has to do, and that's watch government and make sure that they're responsible with your tax dollars.